It's the tale of old school versus new school in high school as a former NBA star returns to his alma mater, jockeying for position against his former coach and the director of the film, Warrior Strong, Shane Belcourt, tells us all about it in the spotlight. Because when I was watching some of the scenes last night and, and thinking about it as I was watching the film, some of them feel like there's a little bit of improv in there. Is that the case? And as a director, how much of that do you kind of allow? Oh, I mean, I one, one of the reasons why I love basketball as a sport is because there's an, a has to be an element of jazz, of improv, of movement, of the unexpected. You gotta sort of, you, if you think it's gonna be prescriptive, it's, it ain't gonna ever go that way in the best way. And so, you know, working with actors, you know, once they find their way into the character, it's their character. It's not mine as the co-writer. It's not mine as the director, it's theirs. And they own it and they hold that space as that character. And then when they bump up against other characters, yeah, as scripted, we want you to have a conflict about X, Y, Z, but now they really are those people. So then now they just play. I love it when actors improvise. I love it when they just go for it. Sometimes it's way off and we're never going to use it, but we had a laugh or we had an experience or it helped them get to the next take. So yeah, I, I couldn't be, you're absolutely right. It absolutely, there's a lot of improv throughout the entire film. We want to thank Shane Belcourt for joining us on this edition of the CW39 Spotlight. Make sure you stream Warrior Strong right now, but until next time, I'm Brad Gilmore. CW 39 Houston.